Hey, welcome to UK Wildcraft. So here I've got some Dryad Saddle or Pheasant's Back Mushroom, which is a nice spring or summer mushroom. So the caps can grow quite large, even quite a bit bigger than this. And they're a light yellowy brown colour. And you'll see they get these concentric darker rings and they look like pheasant feathers where it gets his other name from pheasant's back as it's a polypore underneath it won't have gills just pores or very thin tubes they have quite woody stems especially on the older specimens if you cut them in half, they've got a nice firm white flesh, especially on the, the younger ones. As they get older, they discolour and go a bit leathery. So it's best to eat them when they're about this stage. So they are edible, but much better when they're younger. I usually, personally don't eat them when they're much bigger than this. I'd say that's about the the maximum size before they start getting a bit woody and if they get to like bigger than this they can often be quite maggoty as well so they're quite common in the spring and summer and with any mushrooms the best way to find them is to go looking for their host uh, they pretty much grow on any deciduous hardwoods so go looking in your local deciduous woodland and they especially like to grow on dead tree stumps. So I'll probably take about five or six of these home and leave the rest for other foragers or more importantly for other wildlife. So they've got quite an odd flavour, almost fruity like watermelon and they, they have a similar sort of smell. And it wants to be cooked quite slowly because if you cook it on too high a heat, it can go quite tough. You want to remove the stems. I don't use them, they're too tough. So you want to get some nice and hot butter in your pan, add in your washed mushrooms, and then cook them for about 10 minutes. So I picked some dandelion greens and some yarrow, and I'll add that in as well. And I've got some wild garlic seasoning. And some pickled wild garlic flower buds. Do a sprinkle of those. A few linden blossoms, flowers of the lime tree. And some creeping wood sorrel from the garden. And a bit of wild cherry vinaigrette. 